what is up pro gamers welcome to the philippines versus australia now i've played as the philippines numerous of times before some as failures and some uh success successful victories and uh, i do remember and recall getting a victory against new zealand and i think that was in 2020 maybe it was an ultimate i don't remember but i did get a a win out of New Zealand so it looks like we'll be heading back down to the South Pacific but this time against the enormous <laughs> country of Australia but again you know I have played as Australia before I know how that's like and Australia has for some reason uh, you know lack of reserves units unable to deploy can't put garrisons in numerous cities or towns so that's a problem with Australia, and you can't build that many units for some apparent reason. I don't know why it does that, the game does that, but uh, you know what? We'll see what Australia has to offer. New Zealand, piece of cake. Australia, different story. I have deployed all of my units, actually. None of my air units. I haven't deployed none of them. Forget about the air support. Besides, air support can't even make it all the way down over here. I had to make some full transit treaties as well with nations like Indonesia, Papua New Guinea, Heck, even Australia, just so I could get my ships over here. Otherwise, they'll run out of fuel, and, you know, there's no verses for the Philippines. So, uh, yeah, this is for you guys, all my Philippine viewers. It is finally here, <laughs> Philippines versus Australia. And then tomorrow, I've got another versus, this time as uh, Great Britain. going to go back and playing as uh, the UK again. Don't know against who, but I'm probably leaning more towards Canada for some apparent reason. But I really want to take out or try to take out Canada with uh, Great Britain so we'll see how that goes but for now Philippines versus Australia and by the way guys I did make my uh, new YouTube channel last week I forgot to uh, say this in some of my videos but finally I can say it right now I just created a new YouTube channel called Ud Up World Anime or AWA as promised since it got a huge number of votes voting yes on straw poll so again thank you for the people that voted and for the support of the new youtube channel at up world anime link below if you want to try to subscribe i don't know when i'll start uploading some videos some content on there but it's gonna happen and uh, again i just started the channel last week so there's really not that much except for some links uh, a description my profile picture of aqua from konosuba that's about it uh, again, no videos there, but I'm going to start adding content on there and just adding some more thumbnails, well, not thumbnails, but some cover photos. And if you guys want to try to create some cover photos of me, you know, <laughs> adding, you know, some kind of custom anime cover photo for my YouTube channel or my new YouTube channel, again, AWA, at a World Anime, then it'll mean a lot. You can email me at williammel 71 at gmail.com. That is the... Uh, business email i guess you could say uh I really don't use my or i really don't like to put my real email for some apparent reason but you know williaml71 at gmail.com hey you can check that out on my about or description of on my main youtube channel but if you want to do that it means a lot guys again I just created a new channel so there's a link below if you want to subscribe don't know when i'm going to be up, uh, uploading my anime videos because that's where i'll be uploading sunrider academy uh, Lucy, Q and A's, and also some anime talks for some new anime shows that are about to come out this fall. Actually, since uh, summer's already ending, and the summer shows are again already ending, basically reaching episodes 11 to 12. Uh, you know, fall is coming, so new animes are coming this season, and I can't wait for that. All right, so plan for the Philippines is to uh, send most of my land units actually. And invade through uh, Sydney. The sea pier in Sydney. But there's another one here in Wollongong. But as you can see they've got their. Uh, I guess destroyers of frigates there. The Armadale. Am I missing a unit? How the hell did you? What? <laughs> when did they? Huh? Huh? I, I don't know how those units. Shit. Well they're going to stay there I guess. I don't know what's going to happen to them. But we'll see what happens. <laughs> Usually they get destroyed or just run out of supplies and fuel there. Because again, you have a treaty with that nation. And uh, if you do attack them while your units are in there, your units get stuck and they really can't do anything. They're frozen. They're broken, basically. And I've got two, just two uh, ships here just to, you know, distract Australia, the main military of Australia. 
and some patrol ships, but they've got like a bunch of ships loaded with missiles here. F-150 Anzacs, that is not a good sight. I also realized that they have some World War One, World War II tanks, as you can see. The A-12 Matilda Frog. Really? I don't think Australia is using those kind of tanks anymore, right? I mean, they could be in museums, but not in deployment. The heck? Alright, so, enough talk. Let's get the show on the road, see what happens. I will unload these ships over here in... Was it Kearns? No, I don't think it was Kearns. It was somewhere else. It was Hervey Bay. Shit. <laughs> Not Kearns. Oh well, we'll see what happens. Oh, they're blocking the way, you fools. Maybe I could have just unloaded here. Guys, come on. No! It was too late. Too late. Unload in Sydney. Well, I think I am distracting them since I have two of my units over there, actually. I completely forgot about that, so they're heading that way. And they're shooting missiles already? Oh, I got Sydney already. All right, 57 units. Hopefully, that's enough. RAF Richmond. I feel like I already did do a Philippines versus Australia versus. I think I already did this. Why am I getting deja vu for some reason? Deja vu. Uh... <laughs> Dang, R didn't I just talk about this last time? What does RAAF stand for? Royal Australian Air Force. There we go. I just, I couldn't, for some reason, I couldn't come up with uh, what it stood for when I did do a versus against Australia. I think it was with Japan. That's right. It was with Japan. Japan versus Australia. Ah, now I remember. All right. And I couldn't, you know, figure out what that stood for. Are you kidding me? It's simple. Royal Australian Air Force, like, come on now. Come on, Adept. Oh my goodness, they're shooting missiles at me. Alright, we gotta destroy that Air Force base there. There we go. Now we're gonna take that naval base and that town. You know what, screw it. Let's take everything. Alright, boom. Alright, guys, let's just hold it down here. We got one more unit. Can you make it, dude? Oh, he, come on, man. Come on, dude. You can make it. North Korea has been eliminated. Oh, that's not a surprise at all. This guy's gonna make it. He's a trooper. Yes. <laughs> he actually made it. Kudos. Where's Canberra again? Down south. I can just send one unit already to take Canberra with ease. Again, there's no garrisons in Canberra. Intelligence Academy. Queen Bayan. Nothing. Or Quen Bayan. Let me check North Korea again. Yeah, North Korea's gone. Again, this is the uh, 2017 Trump rising, so the the photo of the leaders are cu currently outdated. But if you play the normal campaigns or scenarios, sandboxes for uh, Ultimate, then their profile pictures, the leaders have been updated for the world. But since this is 2017, you know, early 2017, it's how it starts it off. So that's why you know the leaders haven't been changed yet. But again, this is as close to a modern day mod as it is and it's also an ultimate so why not whoa actually one actually got through what dude i keep getting surprised one unit actually made it in oh that's not good i don't even know why i left <laughs> oh well wow australia's actually sending a couple of their units actually you know what uh, i'm gonna you know send these guys down here these guys will attack i'm waiting for my supplies that's why i don't know the philippines But after this, I'm definitely going to be taking a break from some of these nations that I keep playing for in versus, including the Philippines, and also Croatia, uh, probably Serbia as well, Romania, Bulgaria included. Again, I'm going to take a break from some of those nations that I just keep playing often in versus and try some other nations. Again, I do have a pre-recorded part actually for Kenya, that's Tanzania. Kenya versus Uganda, so I really want to upload that, which will be next week, actually. Again, tomorrow, I have a versus for the United Kingdom. Not a lot of times that I've played as the UK, so you know what, let's do it. And again, I'm leading toward, you know what? Vote on a straw poll, that's what I'm going to do. Good idea, good thinking. Why didn't I come up, I gotta come up with that? Come on, man, come on. Whatever, I need some sleep. Again, you know, work. And then, I should be asleep right now, but I'm not, because I'm doing this video for you guys dedication so uh vote on straw poll on who i should try to eliminate 
as the UK. It's between Canada. I don't want to do France. That's gonna take a while. <laughs> uh, Canada. I don't want to go too far away. That's gonna take a long time. Uh, I gotta think, guys. All right, you know what? Canada is my first option right now. Uh, I'll come up with the other nations. Again, you guys can check it out in the straw poll. Link below. And remember to subscribe to my new YouTube channel as well, guys. It'll mean a lot. Again, at Overall Anime. My anime content, all of my Let's Plays are going there. For my anime games. Oh, we got those ships. Oh, my eyes are twitching and hurting right now. I don't know why. Yeah, I really want to go to bed. I should be asleep. It's already 1 o'clock, too. Are you kidding me? Uh... Critical product shortage. We're running out of electric power. The Philippines is running out of electricity right now. That is not good. Oh, wait a minute. They destroyed all my ships. Never mind. Of course, that wasn't going to work. It wasn't going to be a success. I, thinking. I just want to take Canberra right now. But again, oh, excuse me. No supplies right now. Who has the most fuel? You there, maestro. Can you make it? I'll send the Simba unit. Simba over there for backup. Just in case. Oh, we're getting there. We're getting there. Come on! Oh, we got there. Let's just send all of our units right now. Just hold it off, and then Australia will easily be eliminated. Watch. <laughs> I love that. Colonize. We just colonized Australia. Now it is known as Philippines, Australia, or the Philippine... Australia... No, it's... Mm, Filipino, Australia. Eh. Australian Philippines sounds more like it. I don't know why it's... Ah, whatever. You guys can come up with a name in your own time in the comments. But there goes Australia of Anak or colonize them. And as you can see, I took their bases. RAF, Richmond, Wollongong. I got Williamtown. And a bunch of bases all around the coast of Australia. Herbie Bay. What else? Oh, we got another one up there. Sugar. Is that another one? That's Darwin. Yeah, that's a bunch of bases that I can't find. Look at all these units, though. They were coming all the way from uh, Western Australia. The Northern Territory really doesn't have that much at all. Oh, there's another one. Adelaide. Williamstown. Tasmania, nothing there. Well, uh, yeah, there goes Australia. Um... That's for you guys, my Philippine viewers. Hope this makes you happy because, again, I'm going to be playing different nations that I haven't played as before. And, you know, currently just take a break from the nations that I keep playing, you know, too much for versus. Again, like the Philippines, Croatia, Romania, etc., etc. Although I do have a Romanian uh, Let's Play coming very soon once I'm done with more Let's Plays on my, you know, my current channel. But there you guys have it. Uh, again, remember to vote on a straw poll on who I should try to take out as the United Kingdom. Canada is the first option. But again, I got to come up with the other two or three countries later. And again, remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel or my new one, Utter World Anime, AWA. I'm going to be posting again all my anime content there. I just bought my ticket yesterday for Anime NYC gonna be heading to New York City in November I did post a photo of that on Instagram and also my patron you guys can also check it out on my patron remember to support me game of the month I'm giving away men of war assault squad game of the year edition exclusively only to patron supporters and by the way I didn't say this before but if you are a patron supporter you can also uh, get chances to you know get your verses what is it requested first actually being played by me first you know there's again there's a lot there's a whole queue right now of verses in my list right now that i have to do but if you are a patron supporter then you are you know number one right now your verses will be on the top of the list so if you're if your verses in the bottom then it's gonna automatically be moved on the top and i can do it because again you are a patron supporter and that is one of the exclusive rewards on my patron boom all right guys remember to subscribe check out my new youtube channel and remember to bonus drop, subscribe, like, and I'll see you guys next time. Oh, and before I go, let's leave it at that. The Empire.
Timer done. Later, guys. Sorry,